How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about does smoking affect running performance? So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, please like the video, share it. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So does smoking affect running performance? I will also go over some things to help improve running performance. So smoking 100% affect running performance. Your lungs <coughs> are extremely important for running just for the simple fact that they provide your body with oxygen. So if you are a smoker, you're not getting as much oxygen as you can be getting as opposed to if you didn't smoke. You always see too, people who smoke cannot run very long without their lungs kind of giving up. So it definitely affects your running performance. Um, for cardio though, for actual distance, I would say it affects it not as much as compared to a, a sprint. Sprinting, I, I would say smoking affects the running performance more, like if it's a high intensity sprint. But if it's like a long cardio, like a long walk, it wouldn't affect it that much. Again, it's just when it's peak performance, and I'm guessing that's what you guys are talking about or the question that's asked, running performance. So I'm guessing like high intensity running. So yes, it's gonna affect it. How can you actually increase your running performance though? This is very easy to do. The number one thing that you need to do is to progressively overload on the amount of running or the intensity of the running that you are doing. What I mean by this, if you're trying to improve your running performance and you go into the gym every single day or you run outside, doesn't matter, and you do the exact same thing, you are completely wasting your time. So for example, if you're trying to improve for the 100 meter dash and you just run the 100 meter dash every single day, no matter what, you're not going to improve your running performance at all because you are doing the exact same thing every single day. So how do you progressively overload on that? The number one thing that you can do is do a little bit more every single day. So if you're running the 100 meter dash, next day maybe run the 150, then do the 200, then do the 250. Here's the thing though, you don't wanna start training for long, long periods of time because your goal is the 100 meter sprint. But by training a little bit longer, that 100 meter is gonna feel a lot easier. Second thing to do to improve running performance is another way of progressively overloading on your running and that's to do explosive weight training. This is extremely important. All the top sprinters in the world do this. You look at Usain Bolt, you should see him in the gym. He's a freaking powerhouse. You look at other top sprinters, crazy, crazy in the gym. What are some good exercises to do? The best exercises to do for uh, running performance and explosive movements are the weightlifting movements. Not powerlifting, not bodybuilding, but weightlifting. Clean and the snatch. Sorry, the clean and jerk and the snatch. Those exercises are extremely, extremely important. Another one too is the deadlift. Those three exercises are very, very important. Even a squat, a squat's an explosive movement too. So those four exercises will really, really help you guys with your running performance. Another thing that you can use too is a running parachute. If you do not know what this is, this just, um, it just allows you to, it gives you a little bit of wind resistance and um, it actually makes the running harder. So you have some resistance, um, you have some resistance against you. So uh, it, it's just another way to increase your running uh, performance. And I just looked right now on Amazon and they do have um, the running parachutes. They're only $11. So I'm gonna put a link in the description box if you guys want to purchase them. I highly, highly recommend them. They are extremely good. So again, the last tip I will give you is to lose weight. Um, if you're a little bit overweight, let's say 16, 18% body, not 16, average guy is about 18%, 16 is okay. If you're like 18%, 20%, 25% body fat, lose weight. If you, you want to be around 8 to 10% body fat, the reason for that is because the leaner you are, to a certain point, you don't need to go to 5 to 6% body fat, but 8 to 10% body fat is kind of the, the gold standard. 
by being that lean, you're not going to have much fat on you. And the more fat you have on you, the, the, the more weight you have to carry when you run. So imagine an extra 10 pounds on you. Try running with a 10 pounds in a backpack and try running. It's going to be a lot harder. Now imagine taking that 10 pounds off. You're going to run way quicker. So that's the same for body weight. Get rid of the body weight. You're going to run super fast. So again, the three things I recommend, one, progressively overloading on your running performance, on your running. Second thing, train explosively with weights. Third thing, lose weight, get to a lean body fat percentage. I will put a link in the description box again to the running parachutes, check them out. End of video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video, share it. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. Thank you.